Hey guys, Wes Ward from Fish Niffer On Demand here. Hey, um, Cal and I cruised out to Collins Lake this morning, do a little kayaking trout action, and uh, we've had a pretty good day. It's been it's been fun so far. We've got a mix of bass and trout, a couple nice trout in the cooler though for later, which is great. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on kind of my setup and uh, how I got my my kayak dialed in. This is this kayak's new to me. This is a Hobie Outback, it's a 12 foot version. Um, and as you can see for trout, I have a downrigger set up. Um, I run my rod to a rod holder on the right side of the boat. It makes it uh, somewhat awkward, it looks kind of awkward, but it actually makes it really convenient to reach out, grab the line, put it in the clip. Um, I don't have an eight foot rod sticking off the side of the boat. It's a little bit more compact. It's pretty easy to, to change the depth and whatnot at will. Fish finder's right there. Um, I'm zoomed in on about the top third of the water column right now. We're targeting fish anywhere between 15 and maybe 25 feet deep. Um, ran a top line for a while, didn't get any hits on that, so I've dropped down a little bit deeper. As you can see, the, the deck has quite a bit of blood on it. That's uh, from a nice Sprite trout that jumped in earlier, and uh, we landed a pretty good one, but he did, he did kind of make a mess of things, so I'll have to clean that up later. Um, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple setup though. I can cruise along pretty easily, 2.2 to 3 miles an hour with just this slow cadence on the pedals. Um, going into the wind right now, you got to push a little bit more, but but not not much at all. And we've been out since early this morning. It hasn't been an issue at all. Fatigue-wise, I, I think I can go all day, no problem. Um, for the downrigger setup, I'm running just a 3-pound ball, which is pretty light. But we're only going down maybe 12, 15 feet. I get a slight deflection at 3 miles an hour. 2.5, 2.4, it's almost straight down. But the three pound ball is, is very manageable. It's not gonna make a mess if I drop it on the deck. I'm not gonna have any issues if it bounces off the bottom with, with pulling me over on the side. I'm, I'm way off the bottom at this point, but, but I'm not worried about it at all. Um, if I was running deeper, I'd probably go up to maybe a six, but I don't think on the kayak I'd run any more than that. And uh, that's a standard Scotty Lake Troll downrigger, manual obviously. It's in a regular Scotty flush rod mount, just like the rod holder is. So I don't want to hang too much weight off the side. It's extremely stout. There's a backing plate behind that, that rod holder insert underneath on the back side of the kayak. But I still wouldn't want to hang 12 or 15 pound ball off that because I think it'd put a lot of fatigue on the, on the downrigger, on the kayak itself. 